Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking fragrant spicy garlic fish. So let's start cooking. We are proud to announce our collaboration with Pots and Pans Culinary Studio. Our local Chinese delight course features 10 of our dearest recipes for you to learn hands-on at Pots and Pans Culinary Studio. The experienced trainers here at Pots and Pans are prepped and ready to share with you the offline experience of our dishes. Join us in our exclusive Local Chinese Delight culinary course. Sign up with the link below or scan our QR code. See you there! We are now going to marinate our fish. I have with me over here 300 grams of batang or Spanish mackerel. Cut into sizes like this. You can use any fish that you want, provided that the flesh is the firm type. Example, like salmon, no problem at all. Seasoning is very simple. We only need one teaspoon of salt and a few dashes of white pepper. Gently mix them up with your hand and we'll just set this aside and I'll show you the next step in a while. Now we'll start to fry our dried chilli as well as our garlic. Heat up a pan. For this, you need to add in a little bit more oil because we will need the oil to actually fry our fish in a while. Right, I'm using medium-low heat. Don't turn up the heat too high because we want to get all the fragrance out, make sure that they are crispy and yet not burnt. So just add in a little bit more oil than usual for this. Otherwise, the fragrance won't be out. We do not need for the oil to be hot before we add in our ingredients. While the oil is still a little bit on the cold side, we are adding our dried chilli. 10 pieces of dried chilli. I've deseeded them, rehydrated them and cut them into small pieces like this. Just put everything in. Now if you want it to be more spicy for this dish, you can always add in chilli padi, bursai chilli or a little bit more of this dried chilli. Likewise, if you don't want it so spicy, just reduce the chilli. One whole part of garlic, chopped, put everything in. At medium low heat, we'll stir this around and fry them until they are fragrant. Remember to stir them often, we don't want to burn them. We just need to fry them until they are a little bit like golden brown and we'll remove them from the oil immediately. Slowly pan fry them. I'll show you how they look like in a while. I've been cooking this for about a minute or so. When they start to sizzle, we add in a little bit of salt. Nothing too crazy, about one third of a teaspoon of salt. Just to flavour the chips. Keep stirring them. Now this is a very crucial period. Keep your eyes on these beautiful chips that we have over here. We just want them to be a light golden brown. This is a dish that my mom used to cook, but instead of Spanish mackerel, she used camon. Just the garlic and chili chips on top of steamed rice. That is my go-to when I come back from school. And if I smell this beautiful fragrance in the kitchen, I know my mom is cooking my favorite dish. Remember, move them around regularly like this. Don't burn them. They are almost done already. As long as you can see, right, the oil is separating from all these chips. They are almost okay. I reckon this will take another 10, 20 seconds. Oh, I can already smell how good this is. Very easy dish to put together and super delicious. Alright, this is the color that we want. A very light golden brown. Now remove this from heat and separate the oil from the chips. I'll show you the next step in a while. Pour back the oil that we use to fry our chips. Heat up the oil, we're going to fry our fish now. I'm using medium heat right now for this. You can do the same. Once the oil has heated up, we'll add in our fish. Be careful when you place them in, one piece at a time. We want to brown the fish. When I was young, right, my mom always did fry the fish because it's much easier and much faster. But nowadays, I like just to pan fry them because it's easier and it uses less oil. Once you put the fish in, don't move them around too much. Just let them fry for a while. Fish cooks pretty fast, so it will not take too long. We'll just let them pan fry for approximately two to three minutes per side to brown them beautifully. It's been about two minutes or so. Let's just give this fish a check. Right. You can brown them a little bit more, but right now we'll just turn it to the other side. We'll know when is the right time to turn when you start to see the surrounding of fish become white. So we'll fry this side for another two minutes or so. I'll see you back in a while. I've been frying this for about three minutes or so. 
Now let's just flip to the other side to have a look. Right, using your chopsticks, right, you can actually feel that it has hardened quite a fair bit. It has formed across this what we want. So now we'll just turn everything to the other side and fry it for another two minutes or so. Now, of course, if you want your fish to be a little bit on the tender side itself, then you can actually remove them right now or continue to fry them like what I'm doing. I like my fish to be a little bit more cooked, a little bit crispy on the sides. So I'm frying them a little bit more. This is the color I want to achieve. And once your fish has achieved this color, and now we turn off the flame and get rid of the excess oil. I've removed most of the oil and now we add in our chili garlic. Put everything in, turn the heat back up to medium and gently just toss them around. Mix them up well and this dish is really, really good. The reason why just now we don't want to fry the garlic and the chili too long is because of this step. If we brown them too much, then this step itself, the chips will be all burnt, which is not what we want. Just fry them a while, just to mix everything up really, really well. This dish is a little bit spicy, so to neutralize that, we are going to add in a little bit of sugar. Half a teaspoon of sugar. Just spread it around, mix it up again. This dish is going to be so good. Excellent with rice, or you have friends coming over for a drink or two, it makes your drinking so much more fun. Look at how beautiful this is. Now, final step, we'll sprinkle some spring onions. Turn the heat off and give this a toss. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. Alright, time to serve. And now the dish is done. Let's have a taste. Ooh, smells really, really good. Put some of these spicy chips on top. Oh, spicy. The fragrance from the garlic with the fish. This is incredible. With rice, with porridge, even on its own with my favorite drink, will be absolutely delicious. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and now it's time to cook. See you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like this. I like this.